welcome back everyone for some more of my Around the Mario Maker World series. And I know I played this yesterday, but I enjoyed playing the 3D World level so much, I decided to do it again today. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. And without further ado, let's get into it. And this first level was called Bowser's Fortress, and it's by Xeno Dragon from the US. It's a standard short and sweet level, and it says a quick castle build. Alrighty. By the way, I hope you guys are having a good start to the weekend. As you can see, I'm playing as Toadette. Interesting Kaizo block at the beginning. Ooh, Fire Flower right off the bat. I like that. Okay, get rid of the Hammer Brother. Nice. Oh, I meant a duck there. Crap. Boy, what a time to lose my fire flower. Hopefully I get... No, I, I won't. Oh. No, I'm just playing Moronic now. Oh boy. Nice. Oh! <sighs> A no checkpoint, which sucks. Let me just get back to where I was to begin with. Kinda don't like that about this level. I kinda wish there would have been a checkpoint. Alright, let me just go ahead and go down here. Get back to where I was. Nice. See if I can keep my fire flower. I really hope I can. Nice. There's the key for the key box. Oh, kitty cat. I'll take it. Nice. Just gotta climb this. Oh, oh no, uh, yeah, I don't want to lose that. Okay, checkpoint here. Nice. Okay. Nice. For this being a short and sweet level, this is kind of long. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Yeah, this is definitely not short and sweet. Nice. Oh, nice! Yeah, I'm definitely not complaining about the length of this level, but this is definitely not short and sweet. Okay. Nice! That's a very good start to this video. I like this level a lot. And she just looks so cute. I love Cat Toadette. But yeah, I'm gonna give this one a hurt straight away. Xeno Dragon, you did a good job. Your level was not short and sweet, but I definitely loved it nonetheless. So, good job, my friend. Okay, let's see what else we have in store for here. And I'm kind of intrigued by this one. It's This one is by Gap Freezer from Australia. And this is called Thwomp Swamp. 
It's a standard theme stage, and it's invade the home of swamps and use them as stepping stones, plus a castle. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. Yeah, that last level was awesome. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Swamp Ruins from Mario Kart 8 a little bit. I don't know why. Uh... Oh. He's definitely not lying when he said using them as stepping stones. Oh! Okay, let's try this again. Okay, go over here. I don't really care- well... I'm sure the creator really doesn't care about your comments. <laughs> it's kind of rude. So far, I don't see anything wrong with this level. I mean, its I don't think it's supposed to be a really, really difficult course. But how often do you see a level that's, uh... Oh! Of course I would lose my cat suit. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> But like I was gonna say, how often do you get to see a level that's centered around having swamps being, uh... Okay, yeah, I definitely do need you out of the way. Oh, I want my cat suit back. But how many... Uh, let's try this a third time. How many levels do you see that uses swamps as, uh, platforms? And I think this level does a really good job at that. Please let this be a cat suit. Thank you. Oh, oh! Okay. Okay. Nice. No! Oh, I rushed that. I should have just waited. Okay. And I'm not gonna have my cat suit, am I? Hope it's not progressive. Yeah, it is. D gosh darn it. I've been noticing lately I've been having a hard time keeping a hold of power-ups. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, jump on you. Okay, stay on you this time. I really hope I get my cat suit again. Nice. Nice. Yeah, mmm. Kinda wish I would've kept my cat suit. I, w I shouldn't have been so hasty in that part. But nonetheless, I beat the level, and I really, really like this stage. Cool level, fun, tight platforming by Smorphia. I agree with that. That's why that's going to get a heart for me. This was a very well-designed stage. I enjoyed this one. Let's see what else we have here. And I got to play this one. It's by DayJ from the US, and it's called Boom Boom's Beat Block Bonanza. It's a standard theme stage, and it's Boom Boom has opened a carnival, and he's a big fan of beat blocks. So am I. There's a course ID in case you guys want to play this. This should be a fun level, at least I'm hoping it is. Yeah, the beat blocks, not only was one of my favorite gimmicks in uh, the main 3D World game, but it's one of my favorite new gimmicks in this game. Just gotta be patient here. 
Oh, wait. I don't want to go there. Okay. Yes, I do. I need to drop back down and just go to the left. Don't be stupid, Teddy. <laughs> oh, I ran right into the side. Let me, let me start that one over. That was not a very good start by me. Nice. Bye-bye, Koopa. Go in here. Okay. Oh. Nice. Oh, crap. Oh. Yep, this is annoying, so you know what? We'll just do this. Okay. Nice. Not too bad so far. Oh. Okay. Not too bad. Yeah, I don't want to bounce. Mushroom. I kind of wish it would have been either a fire flower or a cat suit, but okay. Nice. Oh, get... Nice. Oh, come on. Jump up there. What's Toadette's issue with jumping? Normally, that's Toad's uh, uh, problem. Okay, what is this? What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to go back? Oh, duh. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Nice. Oh, come on. Oh, I I'm dead. There we go. That's kind of an interesting boss room. Well, I wasn't able to stay big, but at least I was able to beat that level. I like that. I mean, I I'm not sure. I mean, that's a different boss room. I do have to give it that. I mean, yeah, you could say that I sucked at it, but I don't know. I other than that, I really, really like this stage a lot, so I'm going to give this one a hurt as well. Okay, let's see what else we can play. So far, some really, really good levels so far. I'm so glad I decided to play 3D World again. Uh, let's try this one out by Soapy from the US. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce your name. And this is Peaceful Pipe Adventure. It's a puzzle-solving short and sweet stage, and it's your coins await. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. Last short and sweet level I played ended up being kind of long. Should I could have just changed the tag on that level, but I decided not to. Okay. Nice. Nice, there's one key coin out of the way. Okay, I thought I could ground pound that. Okay, there's two. I need three more key coins. Okay. 
Okay, let's go down here. I don't really need a one up. Uh so much so much let me see that so much thought went this I say that you were a genius. Well that was a nice car, man. Okay, how am I supposed to get this? And I can't ground pound. There is a way, trust me. Oh, I see the way. I see the way. I see the way. Yeah, I definitely see the way. Okay, what's... Now just a matter of finding a way to get there. Yeah, I don't know what the P-switch is for yet, but I'll just leave it there. Okay, how do I get there? Okay, there's a clear pipe over there that I need to get access to. Crap, I can't get that swamp to twig to trigger. Okay, let's see. Let me go back. Oh, I see. I see what I need to do. Okay, I need to go back. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I did mm. Quit grabbing on the crap. Oh, I just screwed this up. I want to grab you. I don't want to activate you. Okay, go down here. Okay. Now I want to activate you. Okay, wait for the P-switch to go down. Nice. Okay, this is how you do it. Okay, now I just go around and it's going to activate this swamp, which is going to turn that switch off so I can go up and get the last uh, key coin. Okay, I need to go down here. Nice. Now I can get back to the beginning. Not too bad. This could have been a short and sweet level had I used my brain a little bit. Okay, we are not done yet. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, there's a pipe. Which is interesting. Nice. Oh, I didn't even pay attention. Let's go up the first one. Okay, that's a one up. Oh, no matter what you pick, you're always gonna get something. That's like that's nice. I like that. I didn't even bother with, bother with a 30 coin. Okay, let's go up here. Okay. Oh, I tried to get on top of the flagpole. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was an awesome stage. I like that, even though it took me almost six minutes to do it. I'm gonna give this one a heart. And I think I have time for one more level. Okay, let's, let's finish things off here with a ghost house level. And this one's by McMeady from the US, and it's called Wall Jump Scare. This is a standard theme stage, and it's, we offer you this chilling, this chilling challenge. Good alliteration there. To find a way out. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play this. And I'm guessing the main gimmick here is wall jumping, though I do see some of those spike blocks there, which I'm going to have to be aware of. Okay, definitely want to turn you off. I know a lot of people don't like the snake block gimmicks, but I, I don't know, I really like them. Okay, this is giving me story mode vibes. I like that. I see you down there, Peepa. Get rid, of, get rid of you, but not really. Okay, we'll I'll jump up here. Oh, try that again. I got nervous because I saw those blocks there. And I love the music to the stage, too. Okay, can I get up here? Yes, I can. Oh, Fire Flower, thank you! 30 coin, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wall jump over you. Nice. Okay, Yoshi's not in 3D World, so I'm not even gonna check those other pipes. I'm guessing it's gonna go around. That's what I thought. Okay, just gotta be real careful. Nice! That was beautiful! Okay. I see those are reset doors right there. Whoa! What? Okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need those because for some reason I just did not. Okay, wall jump this time, Toadette. I know you can do it. There we go. Atta girl. Okay. Oh, key coins. I didn't know those were here. Okay. Oh, hey there, Steffi. Playing some more Super, Kir Super Kirby Clash. I'm actually thinking about feature making a video on Super Kirby Clash here pretty soon. Because I'm having, I'm having a heck of a time with that game. I absolutely love it. And for it being a free game, it's... You couldn't ask for more. You could, And the multiplayer on it is... Uh, 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 I should say that uh, I've been able to get on multiplayer since my internet is get, get, getting a little bit better. And it's a really fun game. I really do enjoy it. And it's really meant to be a multiplayer experience, so I'm glad I'm getting a chance to at least experience a little bit of a multiplayer. But those of you know that how bad my internet is. Okay, nice. Okay. Jump off here. Okay, I'm at the flagpole. Oh, okay. I could have just wall jumped off of there, but I didn't want to die for a stupid reason. But there you go. That was a fantastic level, and that is a great way to end this video. So I'm going to give this one a heart. Very. That's probably one of the best wall jumping uh, themed levels I've ever played, both in Mario Maker 1 and Mario Maker 2. And the addition of the spike blocks in there to line them up and have the snake blocks help you there. That was just very well designed. You did a good job there, McMeany. Very well done.
But yeah, I think I'm going to call it here and um, I'm going to leave uh, tomorrow's video of this series to surprise you guys. But hopefully you guys will like it. But, um, but thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.